Hello, beautiful souls, goddesses. My name is Anu Grace. I'm a transformational teacher and founder of Crystalline Goddess Academy. And today I want to ask you a very, very important question. In fact, this question is so important that I would argue your life depends on it. So the question is, which of the many worlds do you choose to live in? What do I mean by which of the many worlds do you choose to live in? Think about it. This question is worth your, your, your focus, your time, because this is a life-changing question. Many worlds is one of a quantum theory that um, implies that all possible alternative histories or futures are real and each um, are representing an actual world or a universe. So let me just back up a little bit and uh, let's talk about this. So what I feel um, happened in 2012, remember this, this powerful time when everybody were expecting the world to end well in a way it did end and uh, but what happened is that we reached as humans a global shift where we all shifted to a different world so to speak a different reality a higher vibrational frequency so there was a global shift that happened to everyone and it's it's urged so many of us to um, awaken, um, to explore spiritual practices, to start talking with angels, start manifesting. The world has literally changed so much since 2012. And um, this year, 2018, has been the year of retrogrades. So we've had to revisit old energies, our, our past, our um, We've had to really do the work, the inner work of, of um, looking into our, our patterns and what no longer works and, and uh, maybe some painful things from the past have shown up. Uh, maybe they're happening with you right now. Somebody from the past is right here in front of your, your, your eyes, your, your experience, um, like a blast from the past. You thought that world was over, but here they are. So we've been doing that work heavily on 2018. However, as we're moving to 2019 and 2020, we, have, we are creating another huge shift in this world. And uh, while it's not a 2012 type of shift, it's happening more on an uh, individual level at this time. So we are called to choose which world do you live in. So now we have this foundation that we can really access all those infinite possibilities. So we can, we can explore this, uh, like this quantum theory point, like any decision you make, any thought about another reality reveals that there are all these, these universes living where you are having a regular life just like here. You wouldn't even know it if you shift to another universe because your life just keeps going. Sometimes we notice that huge uh, shifts happen when we see um, um, when we see something major changing in this world. We're like, wait a minute, that wasn't there before. Has that ever happened to you? So then sometimes it happens in this way that we do shift and something major has, has shifted also in the world as a result of your, your quantum leap. But anytime you have to make a decision, when you really are struggling with, is this the right way? What, what should I do? You have sleepless nights. You're like, oh, is this going to happen? What should I do? I want this, but then this, then that. You, your mind is scattered. That means you're creating. You're a, a, a fully, <laughs> like a machine of creating different universes for yourself. And that also means that you are actually living in those, all these universes and it's draining. Imagine living in 
millions or even billions of realities at the same time. Anytime you, you doubt, you hesitate, you're creating timelines, you're creating universes. And that is draining. So what is the right choice for me? What should I do? When you get to a point in life where you need to make a decision, then the right choice is always, always in the future memory, in, in the future vision. When you can, of course, we need to live in the present moment. That's very important to be present, but we also need to be present, presently aware about the future, where we are going. Our future reveals the right action step for this very moment. What you need to do right now is to search all these infinite many worlds around you where you are simultaneously living with your scattered mind because you are a scattered being. You don't know what you're going to do. You have doubts, you have fears, you have ego, you want this. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, I want this. You are all over the place and you're living all of those. There's a consequence to every thought. So you are living all of that. So what do you do? How do you bring it back? How do you bring your energy right here? Think about Buddha. There is a way of not having all this scatteredness. Buddha became one with yourself, with the universe. Enlightenment is one of the answers of how we can, we can become fully aligned and kind of remove most, if not all, of the other universes that we're creating. So the choice is in the future, the future memory. Because if we can see it, it means it's already happened. And if it's already happened in some, some universe, in some reality, that means we can have it too. If, if our mind can imagine it, it is doable. You've done it somewhere else. You've chosen, your life has, has led you to that reality. So we need to become extremely clear what we want, what we dream about, what is the highest vision for yourself, for your life. The vision where you are thriving, you are living rich, fulfilling, love, heart-based life, where you're feeling oneness with the universe, knowing that you're always supported. You're in that crystalline goddess power, being truly authentic self. That's when most, if not all, of your scattered mind just becomes quiet, it becomes crystal clear, and your energy around you becomes more peaceful as well. And you, you pull your energy back from all those other scattered universes and you become your, you come home to yourself, you come home to light. <laughs> you come home to where you need to be. So now you get to choose. Choose that one reality that of the many worlds available to you, that one reality that makes you tr truly happy, and then start working towards it. Do whatever it takes. Look into your fears. Do you want to manifest a life that grows with unstoppable flow and alignment and, and reaching your full highest potential, you must release all resistance and fear and past pain that is blocking you from your divine success. So that is my message to you today. Get clear where you're going. And I'd love to help you. I'm offering you a free training. The link is right here. Just uh, uh, go check it out, and I hope um, it will bring you even more, more um, 
It will help you on this journey because you deserve it. You truly deserve it. You are worth it. You need to have that vision and you need to clear the deep internal struggles and pain and wounds that you're carrying, the guilt, whatever there is, and let it go, clear it out and awaken to your crystalline goddess power so that you can be all that you are and live your best, most amazing life. You deserve to live in the one universe where you can be infinitely happy and, and prosperous. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.